Hello and welcome everyone. Today we will be talking about Cosmos, the one and only. Uh, if you'll see it recently in the charts, it's been pumping, it's been outperforming, um, but you need to learn why. Let's learn, let's get a deep dive, general overview. What is Cosmos? What is Adam? And why should you be paying attention? So without further ado, let's get started. All right, welcome back. We are going to talk about Cosmos, the ultimate deep dive. Uh, the Crypto Illuminati did a wonderful thread already. Um, so I will be linking that in the description if you guys want to deep into that. But let's talk about what Cosmos is and how do you need to get started. So what is Cosmos? Pretty simple, straightforward. Cosmos is a decentralized network of independent parallel blockchains, each powered by BFT consensus algorithm like Tendermint. So BFT is a acronym for Byzantine Fault Tolerance. Doesn't matter. They are all blockchains that communicate through Cosmos and they mostly use Tendermint. Tendermint is a blockchain code um, repository or it's a, let's call it, a general use blockchain that people can modify to create their own blockchains and be connected to Cosmos. So what is Cosmos? Again, let's get it simple. It's the internet of blockchains. It looks to create this web, this Cosmos of different blockchains that can communicate with each other. So Cosmos is just that. And what do they try to do? Well, they have all these different hubs in different zones that can connect to the hubs. So with like proof of work blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum, they can create and connect to a hub in order to communicate with everyone. So as we can see here, Cosmos is the network that connects all of these different hubs. And you can create a bunch of different blockchains around Cosmos that all connect. And once you're connected to Cosmos, you can then connect to the rest of the Cosmos ecosystem. So why should you want to connect and what does that mean? Well, when you connect to Cosmos and you're integrated with IBC, which you might've seen, which is the Inter-Blockchain Communications Protocol. So let's dive a little bit deeper into it. So what is Cosmos in the end? What is it? Hopefully by now, it's clear Cosmos makes blockchains powerful and easy to develop with Tendermint and the modularity of the Cosmos SDK. So again, it's an easy way to create a blockchain. It enables blockchains to transfer value with each other through IBC and peg zones. So the peg zones are here and the IBC is the communication protocol that connects all of these different zones. And Cosmos allows blockchain applications to scale mi to millions of users through horizontal and vertical scaling solutions. So essentially Cosmos allows for this framework for different blockchains to scale and um, grow exponentially because you're not depending on a single chain like Ethereum and we know all the problems with scaling Ethereum. One of the biggest things with Cosmos as well is all their chain apps or specific app chains like Osmosis, which was an exchange and this is actually a comparison of cosmos two years ago on the left now on the right we can see how much cosmos has really exploded there are so many more chains we got fujira we got secret network comdex stargaze evmos so we can really see just how much cosmos has exploded in growth um and well that has to do with how easy it is to set up and use the Cosmos SDK. So how does this even affect Atom and Cosmos, the, their native token? Well, there is a whole uh, situation around that. And we can see here in this document of the network, it talks about how the Cosmos can connect to Ethereum, they can connect to Bitcoin coming up, how you use the Cosmos SDK on the application layer, and then consensus and networking can be 
modified to apply to your own specific chain. And Cosmos has a lot of different ways to develop that. And because of that, there's so many um, app specific chains that have developed and launched on Cosmos. And then of course are connected through IBC. So you don't need any bridges. And that's the biggest thing right here. As we know, the biggest hacks in crypto have come from bridges. So the fact that Cosmos itself, any app that is connected through Cosmos IBC does not require a bridge. That makes it so much, so much better and so much more secure. So the next step would be interchain security. So until now, Adam, the token has right around a 15% inflation, 13% inflation, because it is a proof of stake network where you provide security to the network by staking your Atom tokens. When you stake, um, you earn rewards for securing the network and keeping everyone safe. Now, the issue is very small networks that require some security through staking might not be able to get that security because, well, they don't have the financial power to properly secure their network. So here comes interchain security and one of the biggest steps forward with Cosmos and their Atom token. Up until now, Atom wasn't really curing so much value because chains could pop up left and right. Um, chains like Terra were completely overtook, overshadowed Atom for a certain time. Um, and chains like Binance Smart Chain as well are just so much more, so much bigger than Atom and Cosmos. Even though they are built on the same technology that we talked over here, the Cosmos SDK and Tendermint. So even though these chains are using Tendermint and the Cosmos SDK, they grew so much bigger than Atom. And Atom didn't really capture any of that value up until now with interchain security. Now, with interchain security, what can happen is that different chains that look to be a capture some type of security um, would pay out rewards and would essentially rent the security for Atom. So currently, if you stake your Atom in the hub, you only earn Atom tokens and you're securing the Atom network. But with interchain security, when you stake your Atom, you can earn staking rewards from many different chains that are renting out that security from Atom and their big security network. So this can be a little bit comparable to Ethereum where um, you have Arbitrum and Optimism and even Polygon, which get security from the main chain. Here you will have a similar situation. However, you'll be earning those tokens on top of your Atom and this will give a higher value capture on the Atom token. Next, we got Vanek who actually uh, made this whole report on how they are bullish Atom, and they actually published this uh, 10 days ago, and it's quite an interesting read. They they think that Atom could uh, arrive at a price of $140. That's their price target. They have a whole decision, but they actually have a very uh, well um, done report on what is Atom and why it's so important. So they break down um, all of the different um, things that I covered right now, like uh, IBC and Cosmos SDK, and they kind of give you a thorough explanation on what is happening with Atom. So as we can see with IBC, I already talked about it. You have your app, you have the core IBC, um, like the question or the communication, you got the relayer and then they communicate, but you can have apps communicate throughout IBC. And then that means that you don't need to have specific chains that have all the apps and cause these uh, disruptions. So as we know on Ethereum, when, for example, there is uh, NFT mint, then the chain can get very slow and very expensive because everyone wants to use it. With something like Atom, you can have specific chain or specific app chains that, for example, have NFTs. And then only that hub would be getting all the volume and all the traction at that moment. So you don't actually affect the rest of the ecosystem. And we actually saw that with the Terra collapse. Um, we saw that even though the tokens essentially went to zero, um, you had the Cosmos Tendermint continue to work and continue to uh, function as it was programmed and as it should. Now, um, this to me was one of the biggest um, 
shows of proof that it works. You know, uh, the Cosmos Tendermint works as intended and it can scale to really high numbers, even if it's getting completely destroyed, the network never went down. So not only that, but the rest of the ecosystem in Cosmos wasn't affected because it's an isolated um, network, even though they can communicate directly there specifically isolated. So as we know from the pictures over here, you've got all the different zones and all the zones connect to the main Cosmos hub. So as I've actually mentioned before as well, we have the stable coins that are missing. So if we go over here um, on the Illuminati Twitter thread, he does mention his biggest concerns were the lack of stable coins with uh, Cosmos. So there's no native stable coins right now, um, as we can see. Um, he wrote it down over here. Let me just find it for all of you. Here we go. The concerns are, well, the lack of stable coins. And what can you do when you don't have enough stable coins? Well, you can go to something like Kajira, and they are building a native stable coin, as I mentioned, USK, built on Atom. Um, and it's going to be backed by Atom. So Kujira USK stablecoin will be backed by the Atom token. And thus, it's going to be giving more utility to Atom and to the Cosmos ecosystem. So Kujira will rewrite decentralized finance by continuously innovating and introducing products centralized around long-term sustainability, intrinsic and excellence, and tangible value add. Anyways, they are going to be making USK that is initially going to be backed by Atom. And this is going to be very big because, again, with interchain um, security, and then a native Cosmos stablecoin backed by Atom, it's going to be this roundhouse effect on bringing Atom more value add. Right now, if you are staking your Cosmos, you will be earning a lot of airdrops most of the new protocols that launch on Atom will be airdropping to Cosmos stakers. So just the fact that you're staking will give you so many airdrops. One of the biggest airdrops I got recently was from Evmos. You also can get airdrops. I've got one from Comdex. I got an airdrop from Stargaze. So just staking Cosmos gives you access to all these new chains that want to capture these users, want to capture, you know, participants in the Cosmos ecosystem, and they do that through airdrop incentives. So that is the general overview of what is happening in Cosmos. Again, if you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Drop them in the comments. Join the Discord in the Burb Nest. I talk about Cosmos, I talk about a lot more that is happening in this ecosystem, but definitely don't miss out on Cosmos. There's so much more you can read and find out. I will be dropping the Vanek report in the description. I'll be dropping this great thread by the Crypto Illuminati on Cosmos and what everything is being built. Some of the great projects that are being launched on Cosmos, he actually mentioned some right here. Genoland is a concurrent contract, smart contract scaling. Um, then you got Goric, which is developing an uh, algorithmic stablecoin. Fun, you know. Uh, DYDX is actually moving to Cosmos because they just did not get enough customization on Ethereum. They couldn't quite do what they wanted to do on Ethereum. So they're moving from Starkware to Cosmos. Uh, Team Kujira, as I mentioned, they're moving to Cosmos and they've already set up their network. They're running a couple things, so you definitely don't want to miss out on Kujira. And there's just so much more coming to Cosmos. You do not want to miss out on what is happening. So if you guys want to hear more, want me to deep dive into Osmosis, want me to deep dive into Kujira, into Evmos, all these different Cosmos-specific chains and specific apps, Drop it in the comments. Let me know what you guys want to hear. This was a big overview of what is Cosmos, what is Atom, and what the future looks like for this chain. So let me know in the comments. Again, thanks for coming out. Take care. See ya.